Tyler Smith made his NFL debut in week three, and in his first game back, the guy was graded as the very highest graded guard. To me, the guy crushed it. And today, we're going to analyze his tape because Tyler Smith came in and really held it down. You got plays like this where he absolutely crushed an interior defensive tackle. He did a great job making contact with these guys and really just anchoring down within the rep. You can really see that power, that strength, that physicality to shut a guy down. Very, very fired up to get into the second year debut of Tyler Smith. Let's get right into this film breakdown. So one of the widely known things with Tyler Smith is that he's a very strong football player. And here's a really, really nice play by Smith. He's going to pull and absolutely crush this defensive end. Now, this play right here pops for nine yards. But this is part of what you want to do with Smith. You want to get him out in space. You want to let him pull and hit people because he does things like this, where he absolutely puts someone down. That's the type of power that Tyler Smith has. It's just a really nice overall block. Really does a great job with the positioning of his body. Gets the helmet to the left side of that defender. Just a perfect block. Really crushes that defender. Let's get into the next snap. Once again, watch Tyler Smith really handle the power. Really anchor down against number 97, the defensive tackle. Powerful, man. It's the one way to describe this guy. And you can tell he's taking that next step because last year, although he was able to handle power... He wasn't as explosive, he wasn't as quick, and he didn't handle it as well. Like Here, you can tell he shuts it down right away. Right As soon as he makes contact with the defender, he shuts it down. So to me, it looks like he's taking that year to a leap. He's done a really good job so far in some of the snaps that I've seen. This is truly unique, the way Tyler Smith's able to really anchor down and take on these defensive tackles. I mean, look at the power in that right there. Right, You can see it, how he's able to fully get out there Really drop the hips, drop the anchor, and the power behind him is there. And I don't think there's a defensive tackle in the NFL that's going to push this guy back. That's a very, very good, strong, powerful rep. Let's go ahead and get to the next snap. Check this one out. You have a 27-yard pass. Great job by Dak Prescott to Michael Gallup. Really nice job adjusting by the wide receiver. But I want you guys to watch this play and watch Tyler Smith. Watch how he processes the safety that's blitzing and look at how he quickly changes direction. He has ultimately a long three technique defensive tackle. The defensive tackle is going to slant hard towards the inside and Smith recognizes that safety's coming on the inside. And from there, he's able to get there and just shut it down. It's a great job processing right there by Smith. Gallup goes up and makes a nice grab. Let's get into the next snap. Check this one out. You got a 31 yard run by Tony Pollard. Tyler Smith's going to pull, get out in front. And he does a great job with the body positioning. I know last year when we watched Tyler Smith, we had recognized that this guy's very good when it comes to the body positioning. This guy's very, very solid when it comes to really being able to put himself in the position to ultimately help his running back get to the proper read, right? And you see it within this play here. As Tyler Smith pulls, as Tyler Smith gets out in front, he's going to lead up the hole and watch how he turns 51 and look at the way he angles his body. To me, this right here is perfect. This is how you want to seal a guy off, which ultimately allows your running back to hit the lane. And of course, Pollard makes a guy miss within that. He's able to break a tackle. And just like that, he's going to pick up 31 yards within this play. That's just a great job by Pollard. Again, look at the power, the physicality, the explosiveness within this play right here by Smith. You start to see it. You know, I know the, the Cowboys didn't have a whole lot of success on the offensive side. They only ended up scoring 16 points. But I truly believe watching the tape of this offensive line, watching the tape of the offense, generally speaking, when the offensive line is fully healthy, you're going to see these blocks that Tyler Smith has really flash. They're, they're going to lead to massive plays because Tyler Biadish will be in the game. Zach Martin will be in the game. You'll get Tyron Smith in the game. And these guys are all pro or pro bowl caliber players. So when Tyler Smith's taking his guy and moving him like four yards to the side, you're not necessarily getting an actual massive play out of that because, well, in this instance, maybe it's the rookie guard, the second year center or tackle that's ultimately losing the play. So although one guy does his job, you're not seeing the benefits. You're not seeing those explosive plays necessarily within this game. Once again, watch the explosiveness, watch the footwork, the technique, the processing. That's a really nice rep right there. You can tell that Tyler Smith is definitely understanding how to play guard in the NFL. He's definitely understanding how to take that defender and maybe move him against his will. Not saying he wasn't able to do that last year, but this year you can tell just looks cleaner, looks crisper. And it's interesting because in training camp, he looked very good. 
And he may still be slightly hurt, right? We don't know if he's 100%. And what's crazy is he's dominating out there. He's doing a great job with some of these blocks. He's doing a great job with the processing. This one's a really nice job because he's able to recognize that 52 wants to slant to the outside. And that the linebacker or safety here wants to come back around to the inside. And he's able to quickly process it, pick it up. And then you even get a second guy that kind of comes around. And I'm sure they would have picked that guy up as well. So that's a great job right there. Let's go ahead and get to the next snap. Check this one out. Watch the movement here by Tyler Smith as well as the center Brock Hoffman on this one. That's a great job to take that defensive tackle and move him out of there. Absolute beautiful job. This is an outside zone towards the right of the screen. And the running back is going to bend this back to the inside. Just like that, he's going to pick up 10 yards. So beautiful job by the offensive lineman. Now, this may be the only play in which you can say Tyler Smith lost. And I wouldn't even say he necessarily lost because the play still went for about three yards. But this guy obviously makes the play. You got to do a slightly better job than that right there. Um, this is a hard play to make because 45 really bends. And you can see it. He's going to jump from inside over to the outside. He's going to lean underneath. And that's a difficult block for an offensive lineman who's moving at 100% speed and he has to change his body angle and his body positioning and the angle that he's taking towards the defensive end. And in this instance, he just misses. He's not able to get enough of 45. And of course, the defensive end makes the play on Pollard. Not a massive deal, but I did want to point this one out because it's really the only losing rep that I was able to find so far. So I just wanted to point that one out. Let's get into the next snap. So here's another play in which Tyler Smith does a fantastic job within his block. But again, because you have a backup tackle in, in this instance, you also have a rookie tight end in. The play just doesn't pop for what it could have possibly popped for. Ultimately, the play is going to pick up about two to three yards. But I love the body positioning once again by Tyler Smith. Right out of his stance, he does a great job exploding over there towards the right side of this defensive lineman. He's going to get out there. Really nice wide step, and he's going to get perfect positioning on this defensive lineman. Right away, he's gotten himself in a good spot to win this rep. Now, he would just need to continue to turn and flip the hips. He's not really able to because there's no movement with the tackle right next to him. Also, Schoonmaker basically gets the edge set on him, so he's not able to do anything. And with that, Pollard has to bend it back towards the inside. So really, he's not able to do a whole lot, but again... If this is Tyron Smith, this play is popping for more yards because Tyron Smith is taking 55 and he's moving his ass out of there. If this is Jake Ferguson or even Peyton Hendershot, who I think at this point is a better blocker than Schoonmaker, is taking that defensive end and actually getting some push on him, right? So the, the lane may be a little bit wider if that was the case. Not a big deal. Just wanted to point this one out. Let's go ahead and get to the next snap. Alrighty, guys, this is the final drive that the Dallas Cowboys have the football. You're going to get a nine-yard run here. Tyler Smith's going to pull, do a really nice job on the defensive end. To me, it's very interesting that every single time the Cowboys run power, they're pulling Tyler Smith for the most part, which makes sense, right? He's obviously the guy that you want to pull. He's the guy you want to get out in space because he's so strong, and he knows how to position his body, right? Helmets to the left side of the defender. The running back has the lane as well to the inside, and that's because of Smith being able to kind of get to his block. This one pops for 10 yards. Once again, watch Tyler Smith get to the defensive lineman here and really seal it off. Really positioning that body once again perfectly. I mean, this right here is exactly what you want. As an offensive coach with your offensive lineman, you want them to be able to seal guys out. And just like that, once again, Pollard's able to pick up a really nice amount of yards. Let's go ahead and get to the next snap. Based off of Tyler Smith's tape, it's very clear to me that this guy is taking that next step. Uh, Tyler Smith is clearly one of the top four to seven offensive guards in the NFL. Based off this tape alone, you can already tell he's taking that step. Now, I will say he doesn't look 100% healthy. And he may not ever be listed on an injury report going forward. But he just doesn't look 100% healthy to me. Now, we'll see how his health is as we kind of go forward. We'll see as all the starting offensive linemen come back, how Tyler Smith looks at that point. Because something tells me that with starters around him, you're going to really be able to recognize the power, the strength, the physicality of this offensive lineman. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing, and I will see you guys next time with another video.